Good morning, scholars. Happy Monday. It is April the 13th. As you can see, I am here in our gym leaving you this message today. This is normally how we would be gathering on a Monday morning, um, even though technically we wouldn't be having school this Monday if we were still coming to school each and every day. We would have off today because it is Easter Monday. I hope all of you did have a wonderful Easter yesterday. And before we do our Nagusa Saba, I just wanted to share with you a quick message um, that really struck me that I saw this morning as I was posting something on our Instagram account. And here's what it says. It says, our churches and schools may be empty, but so was the tomb. We believe even now God is working for our good, for your good. Praise Jesus. He lives. I thought that was a very strong message for this day after Easter. So let's take a minute now just to grab your Nagusa Saba, pause the screen so you can read through or have someone read through the Nagusa Saba with you. Please hit pause now. Thank you. All right, scholars. So we are back. Hopefully you went through that Nagusa Saba. want to do a quick review again of what our core value, root belief, habit, and Nagusa Saba principle are for this month. As we talked about, our core value for this month is love. Mr. Grang and myself gave numerous different ways of how Jesus showed his love to us all last week coming into the Easter weekend. Our root belief is all of us will learn. We've talked about the challenges, even though we are not meeting face to face each and every day now, all of us are going to continue to learn just as we would if we were in school. It may look a little different, but your teachers are still working really hard to get you everything you need to continue your learning at home. Our habit is sharpen the saw. It's very obvious that with this new way of learning, we have to be very skillful at sharpening our saw making sure that our skills are still being developed even though we are not with our teachers every day. And then our Nagusa Saba principle is Amani. For this week, the person we are going to focus on that sword is someone you may have heard about in the news over the last four to five days. It is Officer Brianne Leith. So please, if you don't know who that is, take some time to do some searching or watching the news on who Brianne Leith was. And for those of you that are able to check that out, put a comment in the comments box about how she has either showed love or other people in the city have showed love to her uh, since her tragic death last week. So again, our person that soared for this week, and I will talk more about her on Friday, is Brianne Leith. I hope all of you are doing well as you're at home during this time. I hope all of you are coming in and getting your packets. As you can see, there's all kinds of tables set up here with packets and baggies to go home. On Tuesdays, we even have a week's worth of snacks for families to grab to take home. So please make sure you're doing your very, very best at continuing your learning at home getting your packets back to your teachers so your teachers can give you feedback on those packets and you can continue the learning process now through the end of May. Hope all of you have a wonderful day today. I've already had a number of families come in and grab their packets for this week. Remember if you have questions or concerns or you're having issues with anything with your packets, please reach out to your teacher. Your teachers are communicating with Myself, Mr. Gring, Ms. Tallman, and Ms. Tone on a daily basis. So if there are things that you're having troubles with, please reach out to your teachers. Let's finish this morning with our prayer. If you could just take a moment to center yourself and prepare for prayer today. As you'll see when I do the sign of the cross, I have my gloves on. I'm getting things prepared for your parents to take back to you and we all want to be safe and healthy. 
All right, scholars, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we are constant learners who seek to know you ever more fully, inspiring us a thirst for knowledge. We are a community that transmits the values of our faith to all we meet. Grant us the grace to inspire in those around us a fervent desire to seek, persist, excel, love, and serve in all we do. We are witnesses who seek to make God known, loved, and served every day. Give us eyes of faith that by learning more about the world and the people in it, we might come to see ever more clearly God in all things. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great Monday, scholars. Work hard. Get your packets completed over this week. Make sure your packets from last week are getting brought back to school. Have a great day, everybody.